As many suffer through the economic pounding brought on by COVID-19, governments are doing a lot to keep renters from losing their homes. In fact, this week, Portland city leaders signed this letter to the governor and others, urging them to forgive all rent and mortgage payments due by people hurt under the pandemic. But what about the people who own all those properties? Basically, we've been landlords for 53 years in the state of Oregon. I talked with Bill Peterson over the phone today. He owns three duplexes, including these, on the west side, and has owned them for decades. Along with a small pension, he and his wife live on Social Security and the money they make from the rentals. We're not rich people. You know, at 80 years old, you don't have a lot of options for income. Um, so, well, we're not a bunch of fat cats out here. One of his renters called Thursday night to say they could not pay. He's not sure how he'll make up the lost income. He is frustrated that renters will be protected at the expense of landlords, and he is not alone. To call for something from the governor that will absolutely eliminate our housing providers from being able to do what they need to be able to do in this environment is reckless. Deborah Imsey is the executive director of Multifamily Northwest. The group represents 2,500 members who collectively own more than 250,000 rental properties in Oregon. She is outraged by the city's letter. So it sounds like part of what you're saying is that the people who own these properties, they have ongoing expenses, whether the rent is coming in or not. Oh, absolutely. And and the largest of those is um, uh, is their, you know, in many cases, is their payroll. She said without that money, there would be no one to patrol properties or do repairs. And so what do you want then? We want vouchers, vouchers, vouchers. She said the state should issue $350 million a month to pay for the rent that's being lost now, that it's the only fair way to keep everyone afloat during the crisis. Back live now in Northeast Portland, there are some federal protections for landlords who have federally backed mortgages, but only about half the properties covered by Multifamily Northwest qualify for that. And still, that only covers the mortgage. It doesn't cover utilities or other fees and expenses that go along with being a landlord. That's why so many people are so upset. Back to you.